This is an RTV6 update, working for you. Hello, I'm Rafael Sanchez with the latest headlines from RTV6. This week, community members and faith leaders will come together to put together a strategy to counter the city's gun violence in a live, free town hall. The strategy they're hoping to implement is called Group Violence Intervention. Leaders with Faith Indiana say it's all about treating people like human beings, focusing on those most likely to be involved in gun violence and supporting them to turn their lives around. The free live town hall is Thursday at 7 p.m. at Witherspoon Presbyterian Church on Michigan Road in Indianapolis. A health scare from Tippecanoe County. There's a confirmed case of hepatitis A in a worker at Arnie's Market Square restaurant in Lafayette. The health department says the employee worked while ill on September the 13th and 14th prior to being diagnosed. Officials recommend anyone who ate or drank at that restaurant on those days should get a vaccination within 14 days. Meanwhile, the restaurant is open for business after a thorough cleaning. A free vaccination clinic is scheduled over two days next week at the Tippecanoe County Health Department for those with potential exposure to hepatitis A on Monday, September the 23rd from 8 a.m. to noon, then from 1 p.m. to 4, then Tuesday the 24th from 8 to noon, and then from 1 to 7. There's also a hotline if you have any questions about this issue. The number to call, 765-423-9798. Now let's check your forecast with Kyle Mounts. Kyle? And that heat continues to pour into central Indiana, still feeling very much like summer here. And those temperatures on Thursday will warm to around 80 degrees for the lunch hour. Lots of sunshine, a few more clouds into the afternoon as temperatures warm to 88 degrees. And we'll have a little more humidity, so these numbers will feel a couple degrees warmer. Your high 85 in Frankfurt and Muncie. 88 in Martinsville will feel more like 90 degrees Thursday afternoon, and you'll be very close to the 90 degree mark in Bedford and Seymour at 89. As we get ready for some high school football on Friday evening, a stray shower is possible north of Interstate 70, but most of us are going to be dry and still warm with that kickoff temperature in the lower 80s. Seven day planning forecast for you. We stay warm as we go through the upcoming weekend, but rain chances bring those temperatures down Sunday and Monday. Uh, Kyle, thank you so much for more weather and stories that you need to know down Download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.